Bitcoin has got above the very important weekly level. But now the most important question on your mind needs to be the how long. Is this actually going to be a legit breakout? We're going to see some strength above the weekly and we're going to hit a new all-time high. Or in fact, is this more of a fake out, a weak move, eventually ending in a loss of the weekly and continuation towards the downside? In this video, of course, I'm going to be giving you my predictions, updates, trades, and what I'm looking for next, as well as, yes, talking about the 70% off discount that we are running right now at Chart Champions. I'll be covering all of that in this video, starting, of course, with the technical analysis, what I know you are here for. So, of course, in my last video yesterday, I was very, very concise of what I was looking at, right? I told you all, I really do not believe this is going to end in another lower high. If it does, I am going to lose a lot. I made that clear. I was very honest and transparent with what I was looking at. I was looking for a rise above the weekly. And now we see 24 hours later, we got it. We got it. When it is the important trades and the important times, I had that accuracy once again. And with this move to the upside, now I want to explain a little bit of context building of what we're coming up to here, some resistances that you need to be aware of, okay? And then how we can be approaching really the next few weeks of trading. And it all starts back, obviously, when we come from this low to high. We know we bounced off the 886. From that 886 bounce, we started to form a bit of a triangle. This was an update from a daily live stream. Of course, this looking for the all-time high. We can actually see how that prediction played out pretty nicely indeed, right? We started to build this triangle here, and we were looking for this drop, rise, drop, rise okay from that prediction drop rise drop rise this was building the triangle from the 886 from that we obviously now got this breakout to the upside and even while we were trading here of that potential fake out i was making it very clear right on yesterday on youtube for my group throughout the week plan remains the same for me no short trades at all want to see a rise to at least the weekly i remain in all my long trades and then as we go on throughout through the day as we start to approach the weekly i remind my team bullish in all my longs, looking for higher. And as we got above the weekly, still the same for me. Absolutely the highest probability is continuation to the up upside. Still no short trades for me and only longs. And I just want to show you something which is absolutely wonderful to see on a lower term time frame chart. Let's go down on the one minute, shall we? We obviously had these two dailies and the weekly. I had no interest at all in shorting those dailies, right? But I did have a slight interest in shorting that weekly. For me, that was key. And what did we want to do? We wanted to check the reaction at that level. And just look at this on the one minute chart. Okay, one minute chart. We build our way up ever so slightly front running the daily here and the daily here. Okay, but then we eventually got through it. We got through the daily, hit the top daily, rejected, come back and we back tested that daily old resistance into support. Okay, we then move up and we flip that resistance reclaim into support. We move on to the weekly, which we get through and we flip into support for continuation further to the upside, which is now, of course, ending in a little bit of a range that we have got going on. But I just want to show you that the, 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 this, this is in front of your eyes, right? I'm, I'm, I, I find this amazing. Like For me, this is my life's work. This is, this is what I'm born for sort of thing. I, it brings me great joy to see this, that the levels that we have, the levels that we're marking out to be aware of. This type of respect for me is just, it, it feels good, right? So you just see rejections, back tests, reclaims, continuation, reclaims, three levels, and even on the lower term time frame, just complete respect of what we would want to see, right? And so that brings us up to where we are now. That's giving you a little bit of context building, 886 into a triangle breakout okay so of course the probability of hitting all-time highs now is very great okay we've got a oh we've got a lovely lovely fibonacci time pivot okay end of this month coming up so that lines up really nicely to breach into a new all-time high on our wonderful 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 fibonacci time end of this month start of next month that's what i'm looking for right but it's very key what goes on here over the next 48 hours as we start to close out the week 
we really want to see this close, the weekly close, above, for continuation to all-time high, above the weekly. What we would not really want to see, okay, is a situation where we actually lose the weekly, flip it back into resistance, and then we can be looking for a fill of all of the prior week's move. Okay, so obviously Friday we close down here. We still have that CME gap. If you remember, we got this CME gap to be aware of. Okay, uh, and that's what we'd be looking for if we start to flip the weekly into resistance. Okay, I'd be looking for a prior move to the downside to at least fill or come in to test the top of, right? The way we trade CME gaps is much like we trade single prints. We look for the single prints to hold as support. But if you get acceptance, you look for the fill. So the same here, we look for support at the top of the gap. If we get acceptance into the gap, you look for the fill. At the moment, we can see on the CME, we are currently on this exact line, bouncing off of the old all-time high. So, I mean, this is what we just love to see, it, right? Old all-time high back tested here. That was actually an acceptable uh, long trade, very sculpt trade, very quick lower term time frame trade. But I also want to just show, show you how accurate this is and the importance of choosing the right pivots. So here on the five minute chart, if you were looking at this this morning, where would you choose your range low and your range high? Where would you choose? You know, you might think there's a few different options, range low here, range low here, range low here, range low here, range low here. Which one are you choosing? Okay, I would be looking at here to here. And this is not hindsight because you will see that it was the best pivot to choose. And this was my then daily update this morning, where we were looking for a move down to the range low off this exact five minute pivot, fake out of the low SFP, rise to the upside. What we have going on here is I will show you the updates that we've had through this. So you can see um, four, uh, 235 posted in the group. We're hitting the support price of that 235 so there's no delay this is real in the time as it's happening we've hit that support what we were looking at and of course when you hit support you get a long trade right but there was one key level that i had a real feeling was going to be key that was the vwap coming in at 70,571. you can see exactly what's going on here we had the bounce look at that patience paid off one hour after that post we hit the vwap and that's what currently holding us down and like i say to my team you know this is uh, you know, VWAP tab, of course, it's a absolutely necessary take profit one if you longed that range low. So we can see this pivot right here is the VWAP. And now we are coming back down to test the range low. So we are now in a situation where even more local, locally, right? So we're talking about now, you know, one to five minute charts. We are between the VWAP. Okay, we're between the VWAP as local resistance, and we got range lower support to the weekly. Okay, and we are acceptable to see this kind of fake out down through it, move on back for a reclaim. That's obviously a bullish continuation pattern. But if we are to lose this and flip it into resistance, that is where we do have to trade the charts and be aware we can be absolutely looking down for a fill of that CME gap. Okay, that is the way that I'm trading the next 20 for 48 hours okay that's what my game plan is for the next few days i got this localized range did long the range low did take profit won the vwap from here i'm happy to see a bigger decline to the downside and if that is the case i will look for the cme gap to fill and if we are to maintain this range low and of course trade this local range that it breaks then that's really where i'm going to be looking for a brand new all-time high and i think you can probably guess if you haven't already my preferred scenario of course is a new all-time high i'm going to be very happy with that lines up with my way four and then moving on to make a new all-time high and it's for me is the most perfect thing the uh, fibonacci time that we have going on so I think we've just got everything lined up so nicely here. And so I just want to spend two minutes and then I will give my next opinion on Bitcoin about what we're doing, of course, with the 70% off. And this is in relation to a post that I received yesterday. And uh, this guy says, I was a member a couple of years back and left because of the toxic vibe that started to circulate. I have joined again and I can without a doubt say that Chart Champions has transformed into an awesome community and a very professional setup. Well done. I replied to him saying, hey, bye. Uh, we have a little gift for you. And then today, this is the gift, 70% off your first month back. So if you were an old member, 
Uh, you know, if you're looking to get back into Chart Champions, if you're new to Chart Champions, we've got a special deal right now, 70% off. This is a one week only thing and never again, right? So 70% off. If you want to take advantage of this, you absolutely can. There are, of course, are some terms to be aware of here. And just from the comments I've already received, if you try and pay via PayPal, that is unfortunately not uh, able to process the discount. You have to manually contact customer service. Make sure you contact the right customer service that is customer service CC and they will help you um, you know through that process probably will be a 70% refund if you have to pay the full price via PayPal but if you pay via you know credit card stripe if you pay via uh, crypto then you know it's, it's all working absolutely fine so I just need to mention that and of course this is uh, not for existing customers this is uh, to show people the work and the improvements that we have already done and they have not had the chance to see and so, yeah, this is for the old people out here, the new people that are looking to, you know, check out once again, Chart Champions. And uh, yeah, that's a 70% discount, one time only. This is the, the week that we're going to be running it. And I think it's a very special time. Bitcoin, where it is, ourselves as a service, where we are right now, the improvements that we've made. And yeah, to celebrate 70 thousand dollars bitcoin we're giving you 70 percent off that's unheard of that is a massive discount and i truly am doing this because i am extremely proud of the service the improvements that we have made we listen to the community in response we've really really put in a lot of time and effort to make things better and, and i just want to show you okay so uh, instead of me telling you you can come and see for yourself give it a go 70 percent off you're gonna absolutely love what's going on right now and if that sounds good of course we got the daily live streams and just a quick shout out to Severin who of course is looking at altcoins every single week this is one of the new chart champions well he's not really new anymore right he's been here a year but he is if you are coming back for the first time in a few years you will see Severin and this guy is the altcoin king now he gave this prediction last week on stream on link look at this back tests into the naked point of control for the rise this is how it played out Bat test into the naked point of control for the rise. This is the type of setups that you get on the altcoins. You got the live trading. You got everything you need right now. And so, yeah, I hope that you have, you know, you can take advantage of that if you are wanting to. And of course, that includes the new daily morning trading updates. This was mine from this morning, and well, we'll see how this plays out going forwards. But yeah, for me then, a bit of a summary on Bitcoin because I want to make this very clear. We have currently trading above, right, the weekly. That is very, very key. And now we are trading above the weekly. We need to see this maintained as support. If we lose the weekly and flip it into resistance with no further reclaim, we can look for the CME gap fill. Remember, the top of the CME gap is support. If we get acceptance, we look for the fill. Okay, so the weekly now is important. If we are to maintain this or we just simply fake out, we can, of course, look to trade the mini range. Higher probability, absolutely new all-time highs. I would love to see that. I think it lines up with Fibonacci time greatly. But I am aware we could see a little bit of a pullback first to fake out even more people prior to hitting that all-time high. That's my target. That's what I'm looking for. And, you know, that's going to make me a very, very, very happy Fibonacci trader. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my game plan. And, uh, you know, if you want more in-depth game plans, if you want these updates as they're happening, what we're looking at, you know, full support and write-outs, then this is what you get via Chart Champions. Of course, we now also have things like the Elliott Wave courses. We have TPO courses. Uh, we have all the order flow courses that you need all built into the educational library. I, I mean, it. We, we have put in a lot of time and effort. And I know, I know we can absolutely improve your trading. I hope you've enjoyed this video. All information about this will be in your emails. We have sent out emails. So check your emails. And uh, yeah, if you need any more further assistance, remember you can get that via customer service in the Discord or even on the website now. I think on the website, if you go to just the homepage, there's a live chat box too, where you can also connect to customer service via the live chat box. Final thing I will say is with this campaign, you know, there are going to be a lot of scammers pretending to be us going into your DMs. Just be careful. Please only reach out via our official website, only via the official 
real customer service. There are going to be scammers pretending to be customer service. You'll see it incorrectly spelt reaching out to you. Just it's not going to happen. Please be very careful with the scammers. They're out there. They're watching. And so just go through the official platform and you're going to be absolutely safe. OK, any problems, you know, where you can get the support via customer service. I'm going to wrap it there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Next 48 hours of key. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to give you another live stream this week where we'll try and get another Pepe altcoin set up on stream. And uh, yeah, I, I think for now, it's just a simple case of trade the charts. Weekly is key. Let's see if we lose it for the CME gap fill. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed. And that's me signing out. Thank you. Boom. And goodbye. Cheers.